Welcome to today's daily pattern. I'm Paul. Today's passage from the end of Acts chapter 2 is one of my favourite passages in the whole Bible. Within it is the answer to the question, what was it like to be one of the first Christians in the church? Here's a bit of a list of the stuff that they got up to. Prayer, wonders, miracles, listening to teaching, breaking bread, they shared all they had, gave to those in need. No one went without. They even sold their possessions to give to each other. They went out into the middle of the town to gather, but they also gathered in each other's homes. They ate together and they loved each other's company. Is it any wonder that every day people joined them? The early church was the most astonishing community that existed, incredibly countercultural. There's simply no comparison to anything that existed then. Just imagine what it must have been like. You need healing? Great, come in. You need feeding? Great, come in. You're lonely? Great, welcome to the community. You can't pay your way? Great, welcome, we'll help. You want to grow in your faith? Stick around and listen. You're welcome. Everyone's welcome. It sounds amazing. If I'd been around 2,000 years ago, I'd definitely have joined, wouldn't you? What strikes me is that all of the things that they did came at a cost to someone. A financial cost or time or energy or safety. There's also a cost to their individualism, their sense of identity as separate and their independence. And yet it seems the more they gave of themselves, the more the community flourished and the more they flourished as a result. Now, no church is perfect, but I love our church. Things often happen in our church which make me cry in a good way. People serve each other and even the odd miracle happens. But what would it mean for us to turn that up a bit, to grow in interdependence, to bear the cost of each other's flourishing? What could you do at this time to become more like those early Christians? And I suppose that so many of those things that they did, we would think impossible in our current lockdown situation. But I want to push that a bit. We may not be able to be in, each, in and out of each other's homes, but what is the lockdown equivalent of an Acts 2 church? Let's try and be that, shall we? See you next time.